So uh, this is backstage at the Melbourne Big Day Out. Danielle, Anita, how you feeling? Ah, uh, freaking out. Why? Uh, I'm about to meet Metallica. I'm going to meet the guys that made me. I'm freaking out. I... Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You got us backstage. I'm Andrew. That's me. You got your passes there? Yeah, there they are. Very special. Very nice indeed. All right, thanks very much, sir. This is uh, backstage in Melbourne. Can you, uh, can you play guitar? Uh, I'm not as good as I used to about seven or eight years ago. Well, we'll see what we can do. This is the Metallica compound. Oh, it's all getting on here. Oh, we'll see what we can do. OK. We were to wait backstage. We were to be taken in only when Metallica's security would allow it. Walking into the uh, Metallica compound. So uh, all very exciting. Very exciting indeed. G'day again, Lars. Yeah, I can't get out of your face, mate. How are you, man? Look, I'm all right. I've got a very... I've got a very... Very excited uh, winner out there. Hey, her name is Danielle. Where is she? She's just out there. Keep on yeah. She won a competition to jam with you. I know. Though. I know all about that. It was actually my idea. Seriously. That two weeks ago they called me up and said, "They want to run this competition in Melbourne." And said, "What should we do? Should they uh, help push equipment around? Nah, should they uh, uh, do the catering for the band? I said, they should come into the tuning room. That room over there is called the tuning room." Come in and hang with the boys, play it, show us some chops. So it's actually my idea. What well, do you like the idea? I love it, Lars. Then it was my idea. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. She's brought an acoustic guitar though. It's not like right, it's not as pointy as, as the ESP guitars at James. Bro. They'll probably last about five minutes in there. Really? Yeah. In about half an hour, you'll see it come out and in those splinters. <laughs> Good for the uh, fireplace tonight. Everyone needs a good bit of kindling to start the fight. G'day, James. How you All doing? Right. I'm Andrew. I'm James. That's very healthy. The, the food of rock Australia is, is carrot sticks, as it was normally. No, especially imported from uh, carrot land in middle America. I don't know. You have an incredibly excited fan out there. She won a competition to jam with you guys. Lars's idea. Yeah. And she's telling me that she's got the it's first. Not better than us. She said she said she got the first eight bars of Seek and Destroy down. Good. She can she, cure she, me. <laughs> she might need a bit of a help with the next eight bars. That's okay. We'll just play those first ones over and over like we do. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, uh, I, I might just go and uh, get her. People really say good day down here, don't they? I'm good day. Good day. They really actually say it. They say it at night time? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It doesn't make sense, but that's okay. There's a lot of things that don't make sense in America, so... The less we question the fact that Australians say g'day at night time, the better everything's going to be. Absolutely. You should go out tonight and say g'day. I will now. it's 10 at night. Now I will. Well, I'll say it on stage then, you know. You should have played a bit of backyard cricket on the stage, maybe. I didn't see any crickets, but I saw some, um, some cockroaches. They're, you know, they're kind of near the carrots, actually. <laughs> I thought they were almonds with legs. We've got a very excited contest winner outside. Her name's Danielle. I was just telling Jeff she's got the first eight bars of Seek and Destroy Down. Can you help her out? I, uh, yeah, yeah, if I can figure out the first eight bars, sure. You're very <laughs> good. You're a very patient person, and you're good at showing people stuff. Uh, that, that sounds like just passing the buck on to her. <laughs> the three of us nominated you because you're the one that's best at that type of stuff. Why does it always come down to this? <laughs> you got, got a big... Got a big yeah, piece of giant. food on your chin. Giant. Uh, one of those big bats. You just did the spit thing. Thank you. Bro, it's all good. Hey, you so you know, I live band of bros, you know? There, there, there's worse things that have happened. Okay. Can you guys stay here for two seconds? Say what? Can you stay here for two seconds? I'll go get Danielle. Like, we'll be like a bag of marbles. <laughs> going four oh. different directions. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Stay right there. All right, well, here we go, Danielle. This is, uh, you're about to meet. That's Metallica. Oh my yeah, okay. Okay, Danielle, this is Rob. This is Lars. This is James. This is this is Danielle. Hi, I'm Lars. How are you doing, huh? Hey, Anita. I'm Lars. So where are you from? Melbourne. How are you? Oh, I like it. Oh, you brought your guitar. Hi. Yeah, I brought my untuned since year 2000 guitar. Is this your roadie? <laughs> yeah, that's my All right. <laughs> should we uh, should we get it on? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. I'm we dying. haven't jammed yet. <laughs> oh, Great oh to see you. Glad you made it.
made it. I'm freaking out. All right, which room do we go into? The uh, one that says, uh... Tuning and attitude. Uni chicks. <laughs> hot uni chicks, that's what it says. Enter hot uni chicks, that's what it is. That one. Oh, that one right here. This one right here, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is it. Here we are. This is the Metallica jam. Come in, check it out. I mean, look, if she's gonna come in here like up stages and shit, man, I can't be like, I gotta go put my f step it up shorts on. Okay? I'm playing Rob Space. I'm playing Rob Space. Nah, not happening. <laughs> so put it back on his bathroom rug. Yeah. Bathroom floor. Yeah, you know what you're doing. <laughs>
auditioning bass player. <laughs> you wanna, what did you do? You wanna us to play like some one thing for you, do something, or what do you? Uh, whatever you want. I'm happy that you actually. You play one song for you. It's like a little private concert, though, thing. Really? Yeah. Any song I want. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> all that we know. Uh, except the uh, attitude, because we don't know that one. Your bass friend. No, no, no. Oi! You f stole my drumstick. Do you want to play guitar? Hi. Or, uh, bass? It's Can I get another pair of drumsticks? I'll tell you what. You can I borrow up. these? You can borrow them. And then when them. I'm done, I'll give them my bass. I'll let you borrow okay. them. Last. Oh. I can play my. I thought we were gonna play something for him. Okay, whatever. Here you go. You're gonna play this, the beginning of Seek and Destroy. And oh, then oh, you oh, can oh, change oh, the guitar oh, pack. Oh, What's that? Then you can change the guitar pack. Oh, oh, play out there tonight because we're not going to be able to top this in here. <laughs> oh, right. hell yeah. Metallica has officially peaked. Yeah! <laughs> All right, then. 
Oh, so. thank you, Lance. And then if you come back, if you come back and hang around here like around 7 30 or something, you can walk up on stage with us. We'll put you up on stage. You can see the show up from on stage. <laughs> Thanks for entering the competition. Yay! Thank you, Metallica. Thank you. It's a big day off. So, there you have it, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Not only did Danielle jam with Metallica, but later that night, in front of nearly 40,000 people, as Metallica closed the Melbourne Big Day Out, Lars was good to his word and brought her up on stage. Not only that, but he gave her a drumstick and let her count in the intro to seek and destroy. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you for the best day of my life, Big Day Off, Channel V, you all rock.